friends, it's me. And this is a true story animation about a girl who pretended to be blind. That's illegal. As if the last year of school before college wasn't stressful enough, my dad got himself fired and we had to move to a new city so he could find a new job. It wouldn't have been so bad, except dad was a teacher at my school, so everyone knew what he'd done. It was one of the worst things to happen to us since mom died when I was 12. But this time, it was all dad's fault. Whoa! Let's play a game. How many things could possibly go wrong in your life? The person with the most wins. He was having an affair with the principal's wife, and someone in my grade filmed them and shared it across social media. Whoa! Father, how could you? You're a teacher, not a cheater. Students casually stand outside and record it. I lasted about three days before I went to the principal and told him I was leaving. He didn't even look at me. He just said, you should be ashamed of your dad. Get out of my school. Not even get out of my office. Get out of my school. So awkward. When I was emptying out my locker, one guy came up to me and said that me and my dad were a disgrace and I shouldn't show my face in this town again. I couldn't get out of their fast. Fast enough. Oh, I can smell his hot Cheeto breath through the screen. Dad and I packed up and moved, leaving our old life behind. I was miserable at first. The video was still viral, and I even thought about asking Dad if I could change my surname to Mom's old name, just so I wouldn't have to be associated with it all. Dad couldn't find a job anywhere. Everyone recognized him from the video, and some newspapers had written about it too. Father, your teacher, be logical. Was it worth it? I'm a hookup with my boss's wife. What could possibly go wrong? You know, besides losing my job and potentially ruining my life, it sucks for his daughter. She didn't do anything. And she has to live with her dad's embarrassment. Knew I'd have to start at a new school so I could sit my final exams. So I decided to try and disguise myself. I cut my long hair into a pixie cut and bleached it blonde. Then I got my nose pierced. This is the rebel child glow up. I'm gonna cut my hair, bleach it, insert nose ring. As I was walking to school, I wasn't paying attention and I bumped into a young guy. Hey, watch it. I'm blonde. Blind. Wow, I'd never have known he was blind. And then I got an idea. I reached into my bag and put on my sunglasses. And then when I got closer to this school, I held onto the wall and walked alongside it slowly. A few people started whispering and I let go of the wall. A girl came up to me and introduced herself as Elsie and took me by the arm and offered to help me walk to class. She said her brother was blind too, so she knew how difficult it could be sometimes. Are you serious right now? New look, new me, new school. Boom! into a blind boy. He smacked her up so good. It rearranged her brain cells to be like, hmm, maybe I should just be blind. This cannot end well. I told her I was new around here and this was my first day. She seemed so excited. She started describing things to me like where the girl's bathroom was and then she took me to register and I was so sure the principal would know I was lying. But it seemed this school took disability seriously. For the first time in ages, I felt like people actually cared about me. Elsie was assigned as my guide. When she introduced me to her boyfriend at lunch, I had to stop myself from staring at him. He was such a babe. But then I realized I could stare all I wanted because he obviously thought I couldn't see him. <laughs> Got him. Loki, that's how I feel when I put on sunglasses. I'm like, now I can stare all I want and no one will suspect the thing. When Elsie had her back turned, I could see him checking me out. And from the way his mouth was hanging open, it was clear he thought I looked good. As soon as people found out I was blind, they did all kinds of things in front of me. One guy was picking his nose. And then when we went to the bathroom, Elsie didn't even close the door. Surely someone would catch me out. And yup, sure enough, in the afternoon, things went downhill. Elsie dropped me off at the classroom for people with special needs. I looked around me and realized people there seriously had proper disabilities and learning difficulties. I wanted to scream that I was a fraud and run out. But the teacher came over to me and gave me a hug. And I was reminded why I was doing this. Anything to avoid being the girl whose dad got fired because of an affair. Ugh. It's like you dug yourself into this hole. Walk into school one day. Oh yes, it's a miracle. I can see again. Then she put a book in front of me and I realized it was braille and my heart almost stopped. How was I supposed to know what this book was about? I had no clue how to read it. I told her I wasn't feeling very well and then I reached out to grab onto the chair in front of me so I could feel my way out of the classroom. But I didn't even realize how hard I'd pulled it or the fact there was someone sitting in it. And the next moment, the chair was falling on top of me and then a girl fell onto the floor. Then it got worse. She landed on her arm and broke it. She was actually blind, which made me feel so bad. And no one 
was even angry with me because they all assumed I couldn't see. The teacher ordered an ambulance for the blind girl and offered to call my parents to pick me up, and I panicked and said my dad was sick and my mom had passed away years ago. The teacher felt so bad for me and said I could rest in her office until the end of the day. Oh, no. Yeah, this is just gonna keep getting worse and worse. I would feel so awful if I was her, but it's like, you can't just be like, it's a miracle. I can see again. There's one thing you can do. Switch schools again. Eventually, I decided to leave without her noticing. I left a note thanking her for looking after me. I wrote it with my left hand, of course, so it would look realistic. And then I snuck out. Everyone was in class, so I just walked out of there like normal and headed home. When I got home, dad was in a good mood. He'd got a job interview and he had a date that night. I just ignored him and went to my room. What a crazy first day. You're telling me this whole thing was a day? I thought this was a few weeks that had Pass. Oh, Ashley, what have you done? The next day, Elsie was waiting for me at the gate, and I had to pretend I didn't see her and walk straight past her. But she grabbed my hand and helped me to class again. Then my teacher was there to welcome me, and she said she had some exciting news that seeing as I was 18 and blind and my dad was sick, I could claim some benefits to help me out. I couldn't believe it. Jackpot. Maybe being blind wasn't so bad after all. You can't do that. That's illegal. That's super illegal. I watched a show on this. It was called The Act. Like this mom made her daughter believe that she had a disability and they made so much money off of it. Basically living this huge lie. That morning I had gym class, which I wasn't expecting. I thought another perk of being blind would be that I got to skip sports and stuff. But no, it was so humiliating. It was a swimming class. The gym teacher gave me a swimsuit and I put it on backwards, thinking that would be more realistic. But our special needs department teacher rolled her eyes at me and said that by now, surely I knew how to dress myself. Myself. She'd been so nice to me up until now. I didn't get it. I kept watching her and she was constantly looking at her phone. She think you gonna steal her mans or something? She put on a bathing suit backwards? Maybe she knows who she is. Maybe she knows who her dad is. After school, I decided to go check out the mall. Suddenly, I saw Elsie and her boyfriend, and I panicked. I was playing on my phone, and I was like, that's it. They were kissing, so I walked by quickly, hoping they wouldn't see me. And then I realized something. It wasn't Elsie he was kissing. I looked right at him, and he froze and opened his mouth to say something. Then I heard him whisper under his breath, never mind, she's blind. Phew. Except I wasn't blind, mister, and you have officially been caught in the act. I walked back around, hid behind the fountain, and quickly snapped snapped a pic of them kissing. I looked her up on Instagram and sent her a private message with the photo. Who is this? Why are you trying to ruin my relationship? And then it clicked. My Instagram handle wasn't my name and my pic looked nothing like me. Oh yeah, and I was blind. Obviously she didn't know it was me. Why didn't you make another account? Why would you send it from your old Instagram that has, oh my God, if you're gonna pretend to be blind and come up with this new identity, delete all your social media from before, this is driving me crazy. She's gonna get exposed in the most horrible way and I can't wait. <laughs> I could see her boyfriend looking at me in a horrible way, but I just kept my head down. She must have told him someone had seen him that day. Was he on to me? He definitely was because on Friday afternoon, I saw him going into my locker and taking my phone. It took all my strength not to jump out at him and stop him, but it was too late. He had taken it. Who keeps their phone in their locker? That You know, a locker has one purpose, to lock. I mean, unless she was at gym class, but she don't got a passcode? You don't got that thumbprint unlock? He'd see all the photos and figure out I'd been faking it. I could report my phone missing, but I had no proof that it was him that had done it. I couldn't exactly say I'd seen him. Go to the principal be like, I smell a rat. I just wanted to get home to try and figure out what I'd do next, except that was not what happened. My dad had invited his date over, and as soon as I walked through the door, he told me to get changed and come join him in the kitchen. Great, just what I needed. I was chopping carrots when she arrived. I turned around as my dad introduced her. Allison, sweetie, come meet my new girlfriend, Susan. I literally just missed my foot. I dropped the knife right out of my hand and stared in shock. Oh no, Allison, are you okay? Oh, um, mm. well, this is awkward. 
forward. This is our dang disability teacher. Casually dating her cheater dad. Oh, you know what? It's over. Gigs up. Smash like if you change in schools. Again. You shouldn't be using sharp knives. Come on, Kevin. Surely you know better than that. Hang on. You two know each other? Why, yes, of course. I'm Allison's teacher. Why didn't you mention your daughter was blind? I had no idea you were her father. In fact, she told me her father was sick. This was my absolute worst nightmare. Allison! My dad screamed, and that was how I got caught. Susan, my teacher, was so upset with me and said I was a huge disappointment and that she didn't want to be with a man who'd raised a daughter like me. I was expelled, of course. And that Monday after school, there was a knock at the door. Elsie was standing there, and I held my breath, assuming she was about to go crazy at me. But instead, she just handed me my phone. She said she'd been angry to find out I'd been lying about being blind. But then she said I'd saved her from dating a cheater, and she was so grateful. Okay, see that's good. Finally, some good hecking news. At least she an understanding friend. You still want to be my friend? I asked her, and she did. I couldn't believe it. Sure, I could have saved myself a whole lot of trouble if I hadn't faked being blind. But then would I have discovered that Elsie's ex was bad news? There were just two small problems. I had to finish school, and I had to find a way to help my dad. I plucked up the courage and called Susan and asked if she would meet me so we could chat. She agreed, and when we met, I told her I'd really messed up, but I'd only done it because of what had happened at my last school. I told her my dad had made some stupid choices in the past, and I had too, but he really liked her and deserved a second chance. Oh yeah, so my dad hooked up with his boss's wife. Anyone that's gonna hear that gonna be like, no, I want absolutely nothing to do with this man. Thank you, goodbye, and good night. Well, let me give him another chance. Mm. No, no. Not only did they let me come back and finish my last year, they even hired my dad. Him and Susan are together now, and Elsie is my best friend. We're even going to the same college, and I've actually been learning Braille for reals. Part of the deal of finishing school was that I volunteered to help the kids with learning difficulties. I mean, it's the least I could do, right? I won't ever fake anything again. Well, I'm actually relieved and happy this ended up pretty good. Like, oh, it started out as a whole entire dude show and then just somehow everything's all right you know I guess that's how life is sometimes you can be put in situations where you feel like your life is ruined it's over you can't possibly get out of this but you're wrong you can and things change people forget things like it's crazy how much you can change your life but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that like button in the face and make sure you turn on notifications click click and make sure you subscribe to the wolf pack I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.